So you started posting videos a few years ago mm -hmm. about starting uh, your, home health, your home healthcare agency when you were starting your second one, 8book, correct? And from there you were receiving a lot of inquiries and questions like how did you do this and you know everything built up from there. So right now, what role do you play in healthcare and how are you supporting these people looking to follow your steps? Right now, I, I, I wear a few different hats. Right, I'm still running my healthcare companies, but because of that social media presence, uh, I get asked questions all the time, Instagram, comment sections. So what I decided to do was set up a consulting company to specifically work with these sort of people. Because as I started talking to people and addressing people's concerns, I would always get told, I worked with a consultant and this is what they told me. And what they would normally tell them is nonsense. Like, I don't even... <laughs> yeah, you started to see all the gaps and all, all the, the gaps, bad yeah. information they were getting. Yeah, and I was like, you know what? I, I think I can provide this service better than most consultants can because I've been in it. And I could kind of build it in a way where it's not so heavily dependent on me. And um, that's kind of where the first sort of consulting piece came to be, which is our passive workforce, uh, how to start an agency program. Because again, I don't like to repeat myself too often. This is so, a pre-recorded course? Yeah, that's the pre-recorded course that we have. So um, that allows people to watch in great detail how to start a nursing agency, healthcare staffing firm, et cetera. And, um, and then I decided to start adding kind of more and more levels of support based upon what people said. So, you know, some people just want to do things themselves and don't just need information. Other people want to be able to ask questions. Yeah. And then there's other people who want complete help. And that question came up enough times that we started to provide full setups of agencies where we take an agency from um, idea, hey, I'm thinking about starting a nursing agency, to launch, and it, and everything in between. So all that administrative stuff that eventually gets sorted out, we handle that so that the customer who's getting started can focus on the thing that I say is important. Yeah. Finding the workers, finding the placement Contracts. opportunities. A lot of people get stuck on all the procedural steps. Yeah. You could go online and see how- That are needed, but are not gonna affect the bottom line. Yeah, you could go yeah. online and you could see all the steps to start. Yeah, anything, right? You could learn how to make an airplane or from yeah. information on, on the internet. But that doesn't necessarily you know, turn you into a pilot. That doesn't necessarily turn you into a, a proper business owner. Just the other day, someone reached out to me that has been following me on social media because she had an opportunity to buy a staffing agency. And mm -hmm. I also buy. So she ran a deal by me and the company is running as a 1099 shop. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. yeah. Making like a... I believe there's a video on the channel about why you should never do that. Yeah, no, there, correct? There, there's yeah. certainly a, a video on the channel as to why you should never do that. But just to give you a quick synopsis, they're running as a 1099 shop, meaning they're not paying employ employer taxes, they're not paying workers' comp. Their net margin for the year is 20%. And how much does it cost in workers' comp and <laughs> payroll expenses above your payroll cost? About 20%. So this company is- They're not is really being running, profitable. They're not, they're not profitable because they're not running their organization properly and they're only eking out what should be paid in the mandatory taxes. Yeah. And somebody it probably advised her to start as a 1099 shop. Yeah. Because, you know. They're avoiding all of those things. Yeah, and that's. They think they're gonna be profiting more, but. Yeah, and that's the bad guidance that people get because yeah. they haven't been in the business long. Either the person who's consulted them is an idiot or they haven't been in the business long enough to actually get hurt by that. Yeah. Because a buyer like me, any private equity firm, uh, any lender will look at that structure and say, I, I won't touch it because it's a powder keg of chaos to come. So 
you know, the way that we go about helping our clients, you know, it's, it's 20 plus years of doing this. Yeah. And it's everything that I've learned from starting at home to scaling up the business, to providing millions of dollars of services a year, employing hundreds of people. Like we've employed obviously thousands of people over the years, but really concurrently years. several hundred at the same time. And to do so requires you to have a certain sort of understanding of systems and processes. So again, from an organization starting in an extra room in the house, that bonus room, to you know hundreds of employees we could carry you through that point through through securing an exit if you're selling a company to assistance buying a company if you need guidance on how do you approach analyzing the right deal just like this person she wanted to know was this a good deal she was bringing it to me yeah. as a potential buyer and she was also bringing it from the perspective of is this the type of company that i should buy and you know so from end to end there, there's in this space, there isn't something that we can't advise on, that we can't consult on, and that's not only healthcare staffing, that's home healthcare, skilled, non-skilled, and um, adult daycare services. And that's that's kind of where we where we play. And the reason why I want to, you know, educate people in the right way, is because. These professions and these businesses secured a good life for my family. Yeah. Secured a good life for me and has allowed me in one generation to move from being middle class to what would be considered wealthy in, the, in this country and by world standards. And if I could help other people kind of make that jump, why not? I would love to be part of people's success story. I love, actually, I love hearing when people are like, hey, I watch your videos, I started my agency, and now I am, you know, doing one million in sales or two million in yeah. sales or whatever the case may be. And that's in a year's time or, you know, so it that's satisfying to me to know that I've helped plant that seed in to build else. those companies. Are you currently purchasing any of these agencies that you're helping build? I would love to, you know, if they're ready to sell and they yeah. organize themselves properly. Like that that's part of the, you know, grand scheme of things. If I could teach people how to grow, build and grow their agencies, utilizing the same processes and systems that I use. It makes it a lot easier for me to analyze where they're at mm -hmm. and know that they're operating their company in a way that would fit nicely into what I do. Yeah. So if at any point they decided that they would sell, I could be the first call that they sell to. Um, and I, I could look at that clearly and know that they ran the company right. They're not running a 1099 shop. They pay their appropriate workers' comp. They have their paperwork in order. They're maintaining personal records properly. All those things are things that I would be looking for during my due diligence to say, no, I'm out. Right? So if I'm setting up these organizations, it's almost like, a franchise setting up a franchisee knowing that if they were to kind of mismanage and needed to buy them back that they could kind of spool it up properly yeah or you know if they are consolidating again they know that it's being ran properly it's it's it just makes it a whole lot easier if you're trying to accumulate yeah that makes a lot of sense well to wrap it up uh how can people get in contact with you if they want you to become their mentor uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not mentoring anybody. Uh, you're mentoring people, you're doing consulting <laughs> sessions. No, man. Every, almost every day. Yeah, I, I do consulting sessions almost every day. But, I don't know, when, when people reach out to me, I'll tell you why. Like, I get reached out to on, <laughs> on like, uh, Instagram or someone saying, I, I need you to mentor me. And I am not, I, in my opinion, uh, a true mentoring relationship is unpaid. Okay. And I'm investing a lot of direct time in that one person, like a child. Right? Okay. Like I, I'm not, I'm not mentoring anybody like that. Yeah. Um, so I don't want people to be confused that I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna take them on take your 20 wing. hours out of my week <laughs> to coach them and build them yeah. up to 
but you've yeah. built resources for them to do that themselves in a way of, you yeah, would approve. Yeah. A and I could check in and they could check in with my team to, yeah. to solve the most common problems that everybody here is capable of solving. So um, the way I look at it is, is like, if you want expert advice, you want structure, you want information, we have you covered. And the way that you can enroll in that is you go to our website, passiveworkforce.com. You can secure one-on-one -on -one consultation calls. You can register for our self-directed programs. And you can actually you know, phone in and, and have a meeting about us starting your agency for you. Um, and depending on what level of support you're looking for, if you need one-on-one -on -one coaching, that's possible. If you need hand-holding throughout, that's possible. What you won't get, like I said, is 40 hours of my time trying to convince yeah. you on how to run your business properly. That's that's never going to happen. And it's impossible based on my schedule and based on... on yeah, we charge a lot for that. Oh, man, it would, it would be ridiculous. <laughs>